listen to Bruno Isaac Berry from Berry Size Lab. Today I'm very happy I'm going to solve a PhD level calculus problem. Do you know who invented calculus? Let me tell you that story. One day in 1665, Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree. All of a sudden, an apple fell on his head and and then he looked up the sky and then he saw a moon. He said if the apple falls, does the moon also fall? To solve that fall, falling moon problem, he invented calculus. One day, Ayak went out to one and a half hour bike trip. Equal 40 over 3 T square. And one mile of his trip, he saw 25 RPA speed limit sign. What I want to find is whether Isaac broke the law or Isaac did not break the law. So let's do it. First I got to draw a diagram. So di equals zero and ti equals zero. That means T and cell equals zero and T and cell equals zero. D finally equal cosine mark and T final is equal to three over two. So we have to find D final. So P of T is equal to 40 over three T squared. So we replaced all the t's with 3 over 2. So p of 3 over 2 is equal to 40 over 3, 3 over 2 squared. So p, p of 3 over 2 is equal to 40 over 3, 9 over 4. So 4 goes to 40 10 times. And so 10 times 3 equals 30. So DF equals 30. So we don't need that anymore. is equal to cosine mark and, and t1 is equal to 1. d2 is equal to 20 and t2 is equal to cosine mark. This is a pattern. d is missing and t is missing. So first we are going to find d1. So p of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. This time we replace T with 1. So P of 1 is equal to 40 over 3 1 squared. So P of 1 is just 40 over 3 times 1 because 1 times 1 equals 1. Answer is a decimal. So P of 1 is equal to... 30.33 So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. We replace P of T with 20. Four, four, equal 40 over 3 t squared. So we multiply 3 by each side. I know that 3 times 20 equals 60. So 60 equals 3, 3 cancel 40 t squared. So 
We divide both sides by 40. 40, 40 cancel. Zero, zero cancel. So. So three divided by two, two, one. So T two is equal to one point two two one. This is our organ. This is where our parabola goes. And this is 10, 20, and 30. We put a point. Well, 40 over 3 t squared. Do you know what is the name of the line? The name of the line is velocity. So we are going to find velocity right here. Velocity is equal to d final minus d initial over t final minus t initial. d minus 0 over 3 over 2 0 is equal to 30 times 2 over 3 because we flip it. 3 goes to 30 10 times. So 10 times 2 equals 20. Velocity equal to one. We want to do the small interval. Grab the small interval on the coordinate. 1.22 comes to 20. And, and 1 comes to 13.3. So I put it there so you fall in love with it. Try to do to roll that. So P, so P prime of T is equal to limit as 
Delta T goes to zero. P of Delta T, T plus Delta T minus P of T over Delta T. So P prime of T is equal to we distribute 40 over 3t squared. Limit as delta t goes to 0, 40 over 3t t minus square whole square minus minus 40 over 3t square for delta t. So P prime of T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. B square, whole square is equal to <coughs> A square plus two A B plus B square. Let's go back. So forty over over three t t square plus two t delta t plus t square minus four forty over three t square t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 40 over 3 t square dd over 3 t delta t that's 40 over 3 t square that's 40 over 3 t square Plus 40 over 3 t square minus 43 over 3 t square cancel over delta t. P prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 80 80 over 3 t delta t plus 40 over 3 t over delta t. So we factor out delta t. P prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. Delta t, 80 over three t, prime of t equal to limit as delta t go close to zero. Delta T he, 80 over 3 T plus 40 over 3 Delta T over Delta T. Delta T, Delta T cancel. P prime of T equal to limit as Delta T goes to zero. A over 3 T plus 40 over 3 delta T. 40 over 3 delta T goes to 0. So P prime of 1.22 is equal to 80 
over 3 times 1.22, which is equal to 32. Ask you a question, guys. Did, did Isaac break the law or he didn't break the law? The law, he broke the law. Because he was moving 32 and pH at 25 and pH speed sign. So Isaac actually broke the law because 32 and pH is over 25 and pH. Which was the speed limit. That means Isaac was moving faster than speed limit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, Barry Size Lab. Yeah. Next time I'll do equal MC square. That yeah. is above the PhD level. Stay tuned. Thank you.